We believe that robots should be put to work as service uh, operators, and the first place to start is where people are hanging hundreds of feet in the air. At Skyline Robotics, we have a robot that cleans windows. So if we look at a 40-floor building, that has roughly 300,000 square feet of window surface to be cleaned. It would take standard work today, roughly two and a half months of actual work to clean. And with Osmo and just two uh, uh, supervisors, we can do that same work in about a week. The robot actually maps the building in 3D as it approaches the building. Every obstacle that it might have, like a head popping out the window, or a window opening, the robot will self-correct and move around it so as not to break a window. How does it know if somebody's sticking their head out? Um, well, it has computer vision and uh, touch sensors, so it can see and feel the building. I think the first thing people think of when they see this type of system is automation is coming for our jobs. And this probably seems like the perfect example of that. People who probably don't make high wages cleaning these buildings, they're gonna be replaced by this robot. Well, I think eventually society, mankind, will be replacing dangerous jobs because it doesn't make sense for people to be risking their lives. From where we stand, when we look at the job we are automating, it makes perfect sense for us to put the person um, in a safe position supervising the robots and let the robots dangle hundreds of feet in the air.